Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, thanks for joining once again. But if you are new here, my name is Sefa. I'm, I'm a software engineer and I've been working in the industry for the past four years. And I've been doing a lot of front end work and I've done some React, React Native work uh, in the past. And I decided to, uh, you know, teach, give my knowledge back to community. And that's why I'm sharing these videos. So, in this video we will be building this shopping list um, it's gonna be basic JavaScript <coughs> HTML uh, project app uh, we have items uh, are in our list already we will be doing CRUD operations like delete edit uh, I, I'm gonna let's say 3.5 uh, kilogram add item if I say it's gonna update the apple or we can add a new item for example garlic maybe one one let's say add item and garlic is added to the item so we will be building this simple crud operation with javascript and i hope that you will be learning a lot of things while we do this now i have my terminal opened here i'm gonna sit into my desktop let's see do into a folder called youtube and i'm gonna make a directory here um crowd shopping list okay and i'm gonna do cd crowd shopping list code dot and it's gonna open that for me in the visual studio code which is our code editor and here i'll just do index.html i have an extension called html boilerplate this one right here if you wanted to oops sorry if you wanted to install that and use it like i do here uh html tab and it automatically fills out for me the basic boilerplate and i'm gonna get rid of these things and is async and defer as well i'll just do index index.js oh sorry save it and create index.js here so let's call our app where is the title here shopping list app save this and i'm gonna say go live so as you can see this is completely empty right now i'm just gonna add the copy i'll do copy paste for the html and explain from there so we have uh, basic uh, styling here for the body we change the background we are displaying as flags it in order to be able to you know center this container uh, with justify content and align and item center we have a background color we have a 100 view height height um, and then we have the container div here <coughs> takes the line center background white so that can be you know separated from the uh, the whole thing from the screen we have a padding border radius uh, we have an unordered list styling uh, in order to be, remove the bullet points from the list and we have like a basic styling here you can pause the video if you are following along with the uh, video uh, you, you can pause it and write this um, CSS or you can directly access it from the uh, link for uh, down below in the description I'll share the github link of this project you can access it and take the styling from there and you can uh, continue with uh, JavaScript section if you are following along like I said so yeah you see we have item uh, input uh, and number input for the price a number input for the kilogram and we have a add item a button in order to be able to you know add an item to the list and to start with if you remember we had a already we had already items in the list so it was coming from here we had a little uh, array called Tom shopping list and it, it has four items in it. First, let's try to render uh, the print out the whole items within the this section here. Let's do that. Let's call a f uh, let's write a function and let's call it render list. Uh, in this render list, let's say we, we, we need to get the 
shopping list uh, unordered list item ul tags and to do that we have an id oops sorry i multiplied by accident uh, we have an id that we can select it uh, let's say const shopping list element equals document dot get element by id and we have this shopping list just in case while we do uh addition uh you know edit delete uh, we might need to clear this um, list just in case so we can do it, it like this before you know do any manipulation to the array uh, inner html equals like nothing basically empty string so for each dumb shopping list item we need to do some stuff like we need to add a delete button for example so that we can delete specific you know uh, item from the list to do that we need to do dumb shopping list dot for each uh, we need to uh, loop through this we have the item here and we have the index that comes within this uh, callback function we have a list item and we are going to have a list item we're gonna create that list item to be able to render this item in the html we're gonna do document.create element and we will create a list item lead tag and to this list item we're gonna give some string we're gonna give uh you know a text to render basically and we can do it with text content equals backticks uh, item dot item which is the item name actually uh, and then we have a dollar sign which is the currency and again a dollar sign to render the item price dynamically here as because it's a variable and it comes from the array per kilogram uh, and then item dot kilogram kilogram from here we can do uh, shopping list element dot uh, append oops, append child if I can write correctly we're gonna append the list item I want to see if we are able to render the whole thing so in order to see that we need to call this render list function let's call it after it's and after its definition i need to add write this append child uh within the for each so that's why it wasn't showing <laughs> my bad sorry so if i save now we can clearly see that we have items in the array are displayed so we need to create edit and delete buttons to do that uh, we need to again do the whole thing within the for each loop because we are writing um, for each element basically because you can understand from the name of the loop uh, we're gonna do const uh, delete button let's do the delete first equals document dot create element and it's gonna be a button and uh, delete button dot uh, text context is gonna be delete obviously and then what we can do what we need to do actually delete button on click we are going to do some uh, stuff on click of this uh, button what we're gonna do we are going to delete an item the specific item from the list for now let's do console log item deleting let's say is this item so to see this <coughs> delete button in the screen in the list we need to append it to our list item so list item append child delete button and if i save as you can see we have the delete button here sorry i'm gonna open up the console and if i click one of these uh, items specifically you can see that we are accessing the clicked item 
and now from here we are going to implement the delete logic but first i wanted to continue with um, edit button so i'm just gonna copy and paste this whole thing edit and again it's gonna be edit button let's append the edit button first item editing let's say item edit button the text will be edit if i save you can see uh, it's created so in order to you know separate the edit button from the delete button we have a uh, class name here edit button if what we need to do is add that class name into this edit button uh, element edit button that class name equals edit dash button if i save you can see that the class names uh, styling applied to that button specifically so we edit the edit button so let's test that as well if i click item editing is working fine good so after this section what we can do we can let's go on and add the item first so to do that we need a function and we, we need to call that add item because we write it here function add item so columns we need to get the each input value so that we can add it to our array those values as an object to do that we need each item separately so item input let's say document that get element by id we have the input called item with the id item so we need we're gonna use these ids to access them so i'll just do copy and paste instead of item i'm gonna say here price and here kilogram and if i continue const item which is going to be item input dot value and uh, <coughs> const price uh, price dot value but since this is gonna return probably as a string uh, we're gonna need to parse float it we can do a parse float so that this is gonna be a number type number and again we are going to do the same for kilogram input so here we need to do a like field check to not allow user to add an empty object to our list so here we can do if no item or is none price again is none price this is gonna return as a boolean if this is an empty you know string then it's gonna be not a number thing so this is gonna throw false we're gonna alert the user oh sorry we're gonna alert the user please fill out all fields <clears throat> and we're gonna return from here we do not wish to continue after this because we have errors caused by user so uh, to add these values dumb shopping list that push we can item uh, price and kilogram and let's give it a try but to see the effect of this we need to again call the render list so that it can run all thing uh, again for our new arrays and it can be updated in the screen as well so if i save and if i try something two kilogram sorry two dollars and two kilogram add item 
something is added as you can see but here we have our input values are still there so we need to clear clear them out and um, to do that we can do input oh sorry uh, item input dot value equals the empty string uh, price input dot value equals the empty string and kilogram input dot value equals to empty string if i save uh, so again i'm gonna do something to click two dollars two kilogram and our <coughs> inputs are cleared out and we have a new item in our shopping list let's go on and continue with the delete item uh, it's gonna be the simplest one function delete item let's say it uh because we all we didn't call it here yet okay delete item it's gonna take i'm oh, sorry Delete item is going to take the index as a parameter because we need to know which index from we are going to be removing. Delete, oh, sorry, Shop, dummy shopping list dot uh, supplies. We can do supplies and we need to give the start number, which is going to be the index, and we're going to give how many items we are going to do it starting from that index number which is gonna be just one so if our item at the third index this is gonna be uh, remove the third item starting from the third item remove one item so the third item is going to be removed from the list and to see the effect of that we need to again call the render list here so we have something two dollars two kilogram add item it's added and if i want to delete that i need to call it here i forgot that sorry delete item it's gonna get the index save it i just want to delete apple maybe if i delete it as you can see apple is removed from the shopping list that is good by the way, I would like to try the the empty state of this form. If I do add item while all fields are like empty, basically, please all fields are coming as an alert. That's good. If I try to uh, just write something in the item name, it's again checks. Since this is a number input, I could I cannot put any you know. Uh, regular string i just need to put numbers here did i something wrong here oh i did price price okay that's why while it's kilogram is none uh nan it put it so i just need to update this probably you noticed that but <laughs> while recording it's it can be uh missed so let's try again okay blah 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 okay blah 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 okay blah 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 add item delete cool it's working so now we need to do edit and to do this and there is a one trick one one trick that we need to actually pay attention to but let's uh, see that after it happened so we have we need to also here need the index because we need to know which item we are editing const item equals dumb shopping list index document dot get element by id item dot value we are basically setting the value of the inputs to this item item dot item i'm gonna copy and paste uh, item it's gonna be price price kilogram kilogram and save so let's see what's gonna happen here if i click edit oh, i forgot to call the function that's awesome uh, edit sorry uh edit item call it and give it the index save 
if I say edit pool, the values are set correctly to dollars in the dollar uh, section and kilogram and kilogram input. If I do edit add item, as you can see, it edit the same item once again instead of updating it. Here we need another variable to see if this add item button gonna do for business logic according to like edit or it's it's supposed to create a new uh, item in the list. So to do that, let edit index let's say equals minus one and since the whole logic implemented in the add item function we need to check this if edit index equals minus one that means that we are adding a new item here so we need to push here but else if it's not a minus one then what we are doing is updating the item so in order to update the item dump shopping list edit index we say and we're gonna give item price and kilogram here and we're gonna set edit index to minus one and how we're gonna know the edit index if you say we're gonna say here edit index equals the index that we are updating so once we click edit here this index will be set to edit index which is a global variable for our index.js file and once we click the add item button to trigger this function here the edit index uh, value will be the item that we are updating so we can access the whole thing here and we're gonna again set it to minus one so that if we, are, if we are going to add a new item after the whole process is done so that it can fall into this if statement here if i save it now everything should be good to go again let's try banana banana uh not banana but let what i can say garlic again add item it updated the banana to garlic and if i add banana again to five or six with four add item and it is added at the bottom so yeah uh everything working fine now we can delete that delete that delete that delete that and delete that and yeah this is going to be it uh, if i refresh the first few items again come back as you can see so and we done some basic crud operations with javascript and after this video we are going to build a simple javascript game which you can share with your like if you have siblings that are, who are younger than you you can share with them we're gonna also deploy that uh, into a you know server and it's gonna be publicly accessible uh, you will learn how to deploy a HTML JavaScript app uh, you can share the link and they can play the game uh, so stay tuned for that subscribe like and share please and turn on notifications so that a new video dropped you can get notified uh, I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching take care